They're minus four sore points. Okay, now if we think about your plantar fascia, the insertion point is here as each of the toes come through here. Okay, there's a fat pad under here. Generally, I find that is where most of the irritation occurs because that fat pad pressing on that plantar fascia causes that irritation inflammation, which is what they don't like. Okay, so I will generally go with a strip of leucophone in this spot through here just to offload a little bit more. The other option you can do if it's really angry, you can almost do like a donut there with the leucophone. Okay, so you cut it into a circle, fold it on itself, and cut out the middle of it, and you can then put that onto that spot as well. So it's protecting around that area, but it's not actually touching straight on that area. So, okay, does that sort of make sense? I also used, um, I don't know what it's called, it's like the sticky yellow foam stuff. You just put it oh, yes, that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that can work quite nicely. But that runs out expensive. That's yes, very expensive. Yes, very expensive stuff. stuff. The other option you can do if you don't have it, just some blister pads. Yeah. Uh, a couple of blister pads, maybe put two or three on top of each other, okay, you can do it that way as well. All right, so let's imagine we've got one there, okay, we've got that there. We know that with our taping, it's going to come into that spot through there. Now, we also know with plantar fascia that when we wait there, people with plantar fasciitis generally wait there on the outside. So, okay, they're loading up through there. So, if you think about it in particular, we want to go out to in, okay, with our taping. So, when we go across, we're lifting up that luteal arch to de load that part of the foot so that you're not getting zero tape. Why not them being just going and just get in the zone and they just uh, treat an ankle so that they do the foot the same way. Okay, they get in to out instead. So just be careful there. You might do five ankles and oh, by the way, I want to get an oxygen stun. Oh, all right, and then bag it's out there. You're then loading up that spot more. Okay, it doesn't like that. So always remember with the plantar fascia with moxis taking, we're going to count. Okay, now again, depending on the foot, I find it's always 38s. Okay, I'd be amazed if any of you besides maybe a Rackman have a where you put a 50 mil tape on okay? If they do, it should probably be several pictures of it online because I'm sure there's people who like that sort of stuff, okay? But starting with the out to in, again, I like to stop just before the base of the first metatarsal on top, okay? Because I often find that players get quite annoyed by that. It rubs on the side of the boot, they don't like it, it just feels like it constricts them because our big toe is one of our big movers for running, okay? So if we're constricting through here, it's like, oh, I can't move that as much, they're going to hate it, all right? We've then got our first anchor going from there up and around like that okay now with taping there's no right or wrong way as long as you're doing what you're biomechanically supposed to do so people with moccasins you quite often see probably they do one and then they go diagonals okay I just go straight I find that straight lines for me personally work a lot better and I find it just gives a bit of an even coverage okay because quite often players look and they go oh why is there that bit of skin showing because you've gone diagonally they just don't feel comfortable okay they want to see their whole foot covered in the tape there okay usually what you'll find is with this one as well position of the foot isn't critical it's really just dependent on where they feel comfortable all right okay because they'll be resting their foot in a spot that feels most comfortable for them and again you're just offloading that region through there right okay so you're not trying to change the foot position too much you're just trying to offload those irritated structures okay? so how much are you pulling on that Liam? so i'm probably giving just maybe a 20 percent little bit of resistance there nothing crazy but again think about it we've got a bit of leucophone through here okay giving us that offload through there we've got now a nice solid structure to go over okay and then we just go across so you would suggest to use leucophone yes yeah i suggest to use that through there i just find it works better but again if the player's been getting it done for 10 years you can't change what they like okay if you get someone new and they come in and they're like oh i'm just dealing with this oh i'm gonna give this a try we'll see how it goes there like it's it's the same with anything like certain players want things done a certain way mm. you're never going to be able to change that you can show someone the best evidence for something or the best rehab principle and go oh but this worked well last time i'm going to do this again too. okay as long as it doesn't do any harm that's fine interesting <laughs> so 
Again, I often like to come up a little bit higher towards the ankle just to give a bit of support through what we call our tarsal tunnel through here. Okay, we have a few structures through there which are pretty important. And then coming up and around through there. And then one more. Small one there. Then what I do is I go one more around the top, lock it off, and then one up there as well. Okay, but if we get you standing on that for me, please, Laura. It feels strange. So just feel weird. Yeah. Oh, I'm so used to it, yeah. Exactly. Okay, and then so the best way to know you've done a good job is when you take it off, it just comes off as one piece. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> we'll, get that, we'll get that off your foot there, Laurie, then we're going to keep that on. But yeah, so that's a nice, really quick, easy way there. As I said, I would generally have that Luca phone there as well to give you that little bit of support. Okay, just to offload things up there. So would you just go like from like there to there, or would you go like that? I generally go just in there. Yeah. Okay, I wouldn't generally go the whole way because if they're often weight bearing on that part when they run, it's going to feel weird. Yeah. So, so I generally just go on that spot through there just to give that bit of support.